Hi everybody, I'm Doug Mattingly. I'm a Little Fish Company member. I was last on stage in Dead Accounts and I just did the uh, sound design for Dead Man's Cell Phone and uh, some of that included some original music. And today I'm going to talk about songwriting. One great way to think about all kinds of music, everything from Gregorian chant to Mozart to Stravinsky to the Beatles to Led Zeppelin to Miley, Cy Miley Cyrus is to um, Think about sound, harmony, melody, rhythm, and form. We can look at any piece of music from any decade, any era, any style in those in that uh, context. You can remember that as Schmurf, S-H-M-R-F. If you're writing a song, you can look at each one of those elements and build the song while thinking about that. First, sound. I happen to have an acoustic guitar in front of me today, but uh, maybe the sound of your song is a, a rock band, a guitar, bass, drums, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, uh, a singer with background vocals, and maybe there's not background vocals. Maybe it's a string quartet. Think about Eleanor Rigby and how different that would be. It's a string quartet song if that was played by a full rock band. Say Led Zeppelin played that song. So harmony is what chords are being played, whether it's sung by a choir with uh, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass, or it's the chords played on a guitar or played on a keyboard of some kind. But let's go through some of the chords that are in each key. Let's take the key of G for today. So G major, and we can build chords off of each one of those notes in the scale. So I'd have a G major chord, an A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, and F sharp diminished. For purposes of today, we're gonna to take a four chord progression. We're just gonna take the one chord, the five, the six, and the four, and we're going to take that through lots of different changes through our sound, harmony, melody, rhythm, and form. Another element to consider is melody. What scale is it in? Here's your major scale. Maybe it's a major pentatonic scale. Or minor pentatonic scale. So a lot of um, rock melodies come out of that, or that blues sound. A lot of people are pretty intuitive when they're writing rather than thinking about what scale am I using. They're singing notes that go along with the chords that they're playing. Rhythm is defined as time control. So we could be talking about the uh, time signature. Is it in 4-4, 3-4, 6-8, 5-8, 11-8, 12-8? What are the rhythmic patterns that repeat? Do we get... Those four chords in a 6-8. Could be in 4-4. Four, four. It also has to do with tempo. How fast is it? Or so just changing those little elements gives us an entirely different feel and a different song. Form. Form is the structure of the song. What kind of song is it? Is it a verse chorus song? Is it a AABA song? Like you find in a lot of American songbook standards? Is it a blues form song? A 12 bar blues or 8 bar blues, 16 bar blues, 24 bar blues? Uh, is it some combination of all those things? Being able to control the form really controls the momentum of your song. So verses tend to be here, choruses tend to go up back to a verse, back to a chorus. Maybe the bridge is up here, maybe the bridge drops down. So being able to manipulate that can have a great effect on the emotional impact of the song. Okay, so let's take our four chord example and change it in different ways with all these elements using sound, harmony, melody, melody rhythm, and form. Let's take our, our, our uh, four chord progression here and let's make them seventh chords. Let's add one more note. So instead of a triad like this, let's make it Make a sound like that. Okay, so maybe our song now becomes. I, 
went to a 6-8 feel, I put some 7ths in there, and I arpeggiated. I, instead of strumming, I broke that chord up a little bit. So now let's change the sound. Let's make it an, an electric rock guitar sound. Now let's try changing the time signature. Let's put this in five. And we'll just take a, an acoustic idea. Let's make it a reggae feel. Uh, so that changes our rhythm. It's going to change our the way that we play the chord. It's still a G chord, but we're going to uh, try it like this. Let's change the tempo. Make it more of a ska thing. change the voicings of those chords. All right, now I'm going to change the sound. I'm using a nylon string guitar. I'm actually going to change the harmony to make it a minor uh, key. So we're still going to be basically in that key of G1 sharp, but we're going to make it minor. And I'm going to arpeggiate, and I'm going to change that sound with I'm playing with my fingers, not a pick. And then finally, you just have to think about the form, the structure of it, what, uh, what you just wrote. Is that a verse? Is that a chorus? Is it A section? Is it a B section? And if you wrote, let's say, a verse in a, in a major key, maybe your chorus is in a minor key, or vice versa. All right, so you can see that just changing uh, and keeping our attention on those uh, five elements, changing one little thing, can turn it into a completely different song. I uh, hope that was fun, and uh, good luck with your songwriting.